Hello friends, my name is Erica from Pineville Bow County Public Library and welcome to Storytime. I hope you all are having a great day so far. The story I'm going to read for you today is On the Account of the Gum by Adam Rex. Oh my goodness, let's look at this cover. Look at all of the things she has stuck in her hair. Oh, I wonder how she got them in there and how she's going to get them out. Well, let's find out. Are you ready? See, she's chewing the bubble gum and she fell asleep. Oh no. Uh oh, she has gum in her hair. That's the gum right there that you got in your hair. Oh no. On the account of the gum that you got in your hair. Your dad said, sit still, and your sister said, duck, and you sat very still. Still, the scissors got stuck in the gum that you got in your hair. Oh, no. Okay, we went on some websites, and all of them swear if you want to get scissors and gum out of hair, you take two sticks of butter and smear them along, and, oh, no, did that work, you think? I see. It appears that those websites were wrong. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Your aunt said she knew how to get the gum out from this tip in a book she was reading about. In the paper or something, she couldn't say where. The point is, that's why you have grass in your hair. Your grandpa, who said that your aunt was mistaken, is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. It's all in this bacony, noodly mass with the scissors, gum, hair, sticks of butter, and grass. Oh my goodness, look at all of that in her hair. Because of the grass that you got in your hair, I assumed that your rabbit could help us in there. But your rabbit just sat like it thinks it's a hat. So I thought it'll leave if I bring in the cat. Oh no. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. Look at all of that stuff. Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch. She'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to your head. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, no. I'm thinking of the old cat. Your aunt just came back, and she has a new take. It's cake. She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'll be coming around anymore. Though the cake that she made you wound up on the floor. <gasps> that reminds me, happy birthday! All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We blow the gum out with a powerful fan. Plus, every few seconds, we'll pop a balloon. And the guy with the bees said he'd get them here soon. And, oh, I hear sirens. The firemen came. They complained when we called, but they came just the same. With their hoses and one of those dogs and a cop and a big pot of chili, they're ready to stop. Get out, please. Oh, no. Jeez. Rude. Gum didn't want any part of that, did it? <laughs> so that's the solution. Well, what do you know? Too bad about all of the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff that's still stuck in your hair. Oh, look at all of that stuff. Whoop, your aunt is all stuck up in there. How'd that happen? Oh, no. Anyway, you'd better get to school. Because otherwise, you're going to miss picture day. Oh, no. On account of the gum. What did you all think of that story? Did you like it? I liked it, too. Well, you all have an awesome day today. And don't get any gum in your hair. We'll see you soon. Bye.